Be careful how you use it. Right here, this is the BRs. What the? F what is that? <laughs> that Brendan is called an automatic transmission. Ugh. It requires just the use of the brake and the gas pedal. Yeah, missing a pedal down there. There is I no see. clutch pedal when you have an automatic uh, or a DCT by. I'm gonna at least uh, use the, the dink paddles. Oh, track mode. Oh, track mode. That's what we want. All right, there we go. Manual. Let's see if I remember to actually shift. <laughs> when your right hand has nothing to do, it's hard to remember sometimes. All right, so this is another episode of the lap. We are here at Road America. We're driving the 2022 BRZ. I have not even seen one of these new ones on the road yet, so we are very privileged to get to drive one on a racetrack. Yes. Uh, this is supposed to have slightly different suspension geometry than its equivalent 86 cousin, the 86 GR from Toyota which is supposed to make this understeer a little more than the uh, the GR. The GR is supposed to be a little more tail happy. This is supposed to be a little more understeer happy. We'll see if that's the case. We have probably fairly cold tires. The track is just about warming up. Yeah, it's about, about 66 back. degrees we outside. We are good to go, and here we go. Here we go. Acceleration is lackluster. <laughs> it's linear though. It's naturally aspirated, so you're not going to get any kind of a turbo lag or anything like that. Brakes don't bite right away. Let's see how that plays out. Wow, this motor's a little bit... Okay, it likes the higher res. It doesn't want to give me second gear. That's kind of annoying. Oh, is that what that little... That's what that beeping was? That beeping sound was? Okay. I don't know, it didn't seem like it uh, was going to over rev the motor at the speed I was going. Well, it's fourth came. gear is, uh, doesn't give you much, does it? No, this engine is still underpowered, but the handling is good. Yeah, enough. handling feels good. There's a little bit of body roll, yeah. but not too much. Felt I think a, it's a, a mass improvement from the previous model. Felt a little bit light in the rear end, I'll say. Front end is a little bit yeah. understeer. Yeah, you got you got some understeer going. So back. whoever wrote that in an article once, uh, explaining the yeah, difference. Yeah, they, they nailed it. <laughs> yeah, there's a little <laughs> bit of understeer, which is okay. But you know what? You can have a lot of fun because it's controllable. Yes. Well, you really just gotta almost kind of keep your. You foot gotta keep in this it. car in the revs. <laughs> How's the brakes? Not the greatest. They're, Are they going they're a soft on you, or they just feel a little wooden? A little they're like underpowered. Not a lot of feedback. They're a little underpowered. Let's see how we do in the carousel. This all feels right, very it feels plenty. good. Oh, it's, it's understeered a little bit, but that's all right. Let's see if I get on the brakes hard. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, no, <laughs> brakes are not good. I did not like that at all. There's, there's just, it, you know what? There's no power to them. They're not actually gripping and slowing the car down. So I don't know if that's brakes or tires, but uh, that was just a little bit of an exercise to see, okay, how good are these brakes? We just got out of a, a Supra. Which yeah, is Supra amazing had brakes. tremendous brakes. I mean, I'm freaking standing on those brakes. They're not slowing down. They're not fading. They're just not working. <laughs> so the, the key to this car is going to be momentum. Momentum. And uh, you really just maybe try to keep your average speed up. Yeah. Boy, those brakes do not inspire any confidence whatsoever. So, it, it is a fun little track car. I would 1,000% uh, uh, upgrade the brakes. Uh, you need grabbier brakes, something that also, does Also, let's, let's not forget, this is Road America. This is very <laughs> high speed track. Yes. Uh, you know, you go to some other tracks, the brakes are probably gonna get you 
uh, a better experience than you get at Road America. Yeah, I mean we we don't get, we don't get enough time on the track to see if they'll maybe fade after a while, but with yeah, far we as pure stopping lap, power, so I'd be surprised. Oh, we can smell them too. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, and uh, but they didn't fade. That's the only good thing I could say about the brakes. Uh, handled pretty well. Um, transmission was fine. The motor, j except that it didn't want to downshift, uh, and the uh, it needs like and, uh, still needs like another fifty to one hundred horsepower. Yeah, they, they they fixed a little bit of that. They gave it more power, but not enough. Uh, so anyway, that is the twenty twenty two. BRZ, uh, be interested to drive. Oh my gosh, I can really smell those brakes. Yeah, we, we <laughs> definitely cooked the brakes. Uh, but I would be definitely interested to see what the difference is with the GR uh, 86. And, um, Which, unfortunately, they don't have it. They at don't have event. one here, unfortunately. So, so next time we get our hands on one, we'll let you know. But for now, this is Paul and Brendan, Sons of Speed. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time here uh, with the lap on uh, We Are Motor Driven. Take care.